I'm humble, they hark and they listen, they mean. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your brother, Mike Prophet, 144K. Back again with another video, as usual, man. Giving y'all that good content. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go like, subscribe to the channel. Got a lot of content coming. A lot of content in general on my page. So look for, look for what you need to watch and watch it. Uh, this is a requested video. Uh, what is it? Ground Level Customs. Shout out to Ground Level Customs. Subscribe to his channel. While I'm doing this video for him. Uh, this is trying to show y'all get easy for y'all to uh, kind of install this backup camera. So this is how to install a backup camera. So I'm not going to do all the actual work of doing it. I'm just going to show you how I wired mine in. So let's get into it. So one of the first things, well really one of the first things you're going to need, you are going to need a backup camera. So let me see. So this is kind of my, this is pretty much my old one. I had this one on here. I'm trying to give y'all a good example of one. I'm trying to show y'all all my wires. So with your backup camera, it's gonna come with a kit. You're gonna have some wires. Try to make it as simple as possible. So you're gonna get you're gonna get two separate wires. So this is gonna be your video wire that feeds all the way to the front. And this is your power wire which feeds What is it? Which feeds to the back of the camera. So let me give y'all a good example. I'm gonna try to hold on. I'm not gonna try to make this too long, but so don't do this, do not do this. So as you see my backup cameras right here, right? This is my new one, but I actually drilled a hole in my bumper to make it connect. So I'm gonna show you all this step real quick before I show you anything else because this is very important. Do not drill a damn hole at all. Do not drill a hole. So what you wanna do what I found out is when I was cleaning the inside of my, the back of my trunk, which is this part right here, uh, I found two holes. So let's show y'all what these holes look like. Let's take all this out. Hold on. So I'm using my old tripod. So right here you have like a little hole, right? I'm not sure why there's a, not a hole, but you have like a, uh, it's kind of like just a cap. So let's take this cap off. I just want to show y'all an example. It's real dirty because my jack leaks sometimes. Let me get y'all this one because it's just too dirty. This is the one you're gonna need anyway. So I didn't know if you have a Dodge Charger, you should have two caps. So you have that cap, and then you have this cap right here. So, so you have this cap right here, right? All you need to do when you're setting up your camera, so it's hard to show you because normally you'll, you'll see it if you, in y'all vehicle, you'll see that you have a space where your, uh, where your uh, license plate light is at. You just bring that wire up and bring it down. So you're gonna bring that wire up, pull it, and kind of string it down all the way to the bottom, right? So, and then you're gonna see this this space right here is what I'm talking about. It's very simple. I can't sh necessarily show you because I gotta take shit apart and I'm not doing that. But yeah, it, when you bring it down to the space, just bring it to, it's another one? Oh, it's another one, huh, okay. So I didn't know that. It's another one where the battery's at, but obviously you gotta get to the battery. You wanna do that, so just bring that under here. And then pull it in right here. Simple as that. Pull it in right here. I really wish I could give y'all an example. Actually, I think I can. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I'm feeding that. I'm trying to feed it in there. I'm not sure if that's going to go down. Let's just see what it's doing right now. So I can see the wire. 
Let me see. I just saw the wire. Let me try to get it with my hand. So look, see? Y'all see that wire fed? That's what I'm telling you, giving y'all the actual example. So you wanna feed that wire. Boom. And just pass it on the side. I'm trying to give y'all a better look at it. Okay, see? I'm trying to go slower. And then you just feed that wire. You actually can tuck it under this little plastic piece if you want to, but just for video purposes, you can just feed it in there. Yeah, so just feed that wire up to here. And then what you I don't want to take that apart. So once you feed that wire up, I'm saying this in general, you'll feed these wires right here because this is the wire that goes to the uh, actual, the back end of the license plate. So depending on how long it is, you're gonna to need to connect them. So once again, this is the uh, the power to the uh, light. So you're gonna have that. You're gonna have. I'm using I'm using one hand right now. So once again, this is your power. This is the shortest wire that you're gonna have. This goes. So you have your power, right? Your power. Plug that in. Boom. And the uh, rest of it goes to the the actual. Um, the ground so just make sure you connect to the ground so you see my wires connect to the ground that's all you gotta do with that wire and then all you do next is connect your yellow wire boom this one reel that motherfucker all the way to the front however you want to do it um mine is like inside of here let me show y'all push that up There's a uh, power wire, my bad. You hook that up, my bad. I forgot to show y'all. I'm gonna actually input this in the beginning. You hook this power up, right? So the black, obviously the ground goes to the ground, right? So where you wanna put your power wire at, um, you can have it going consistently and put it to your battery. If you put it to, if you put it to this reverse light up here, because I have mine set up, up here, but if you put it to here, it's gonna it's gonna be static. I'm telling y'all right now. I'm not gonna give you an example of it, but it's gonna on your screen. It's gonna be staticky. So what you want to do with this power wire? All you want to do is open your fuse box, and I have mine on um, this one right here, which is to the um, what is it to the outlet? So when you cut your car on, then it cuts on. So this is right here ignition, not ignition. Should be 13 or some shit like that. I forget what it is. Is it 38? Yeah, power outlet. It's to 38. It's the power outlet. So that's where it's at. It's on 38 right now. So that's what I use to make it have power. So it's always on um, certain cars. Push that up. Feed it all the way to the front. I just gotta have my speakers are going. So I got it all the way coming down here, as you see. Go watch my um, go watch my hide and install a fog light video. I give you more example of it. But I have it feeding all the way down there, and then it's coming across. Then it's coming across to there. So it's coming across. Actually, I might have it on the other side. But I have it feeding all the way back here, and then coming across. Then it goes to this. Then it goes to this right here. So I have it feeding all the way across, and then it goes to this, to the back end of this. It's it's real simple. It's not hard at all. It might shit, it might take you less. Than, it should take you less than thirty minutes to do it. Really, thirty minutes. 
so I'm gonna put everything back in my trunk and then show y'all the rest of the video. Say something else. I do recommend this license plate light right here. That one I showed y'all, do not get that one. This is really good. It's straight and center. You ain't gotta worry about adjusting anything. It's straight and center. And it's just, it's a, it's license plate, so. Cover, so. Simple, it's gonna cost me like, uh, I'm gonna put the link in the description. It was on eBay. It was on eBay for like maybe $25. I think it was $20 actually. But uh, as y'all know, I think I get everything from eBay. Every single thing I get car wise, I get it from eBay. So yeah, get that thing from eBay, get it from Amazon. They have a Wi-Fi one if you want to, but I already had my stuff wired. So all I did was with this new one, just plug it in and that was it. But uh, I'm gonna show you the rest of the video. Can your car on run. You turn it on so you can, at least so I can get to my thing. Put it in drive, make sure the uh, parking brake is up. Put it in drive. So I'm gonna show y'all the example. Really don't wanna take this out, but let's give y'all an example. Damn video stock, cause of damn Bluetooth. I'm climbing off. I'm gonna close the door cause that sound. Okay. Oh yeah, I can show y'all this way. So you're going to need this kit because got some fans back there. Turn it back off. Okay, so you're going to need this. Oh, that thing never came out. What the hell? Okay, okay, okay. Because you can't put it in there because it's not an actual, uh, what is it, a video one. If you was, if it was, you can just plug it in there. And you can do, um, I'm going to show you all another example too, because you can make it play on both screens if you had an actual, um, if you do have a double den that has an um, actual touch screen, you can play it on both. And I'll show you all how in a minute. But um, I forget where my wire is at. But all you need, like I said, you need this piece because it has the audio adapters to it. I really want to pull this out, man. I'm not going to sit here and lie. Uh, there we go. There it is. Uh, it takes a minute to put back in. So you see my uh, what is it? You're gonna need to damn. I should, and all you do with this yellow one is plug it in. I had to buy an adapter because a female adapter because obviously this one is just a. Uh, hold on, let me show y'all. It's just another male adapter. So you're gonna need to buy a female adapter and make sure you get that and plug it in. Those female adapters are like, you can get a two pack for like five, four, four to five dollars. So, and that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. Um, as long as everything is connected the right way, it's gonna go in there. This is just a basic idea um, because these wires come on. Uh, you are going to have to decipher which one because you have another yellow uh, connection, like the same one. Mine's in the back. I'm not going to show you all that one, but all you got to do is make sure you plug it in. Just make sure which one is the uh, right one to go. You got to make sure which one is the right one to plug in. it take you about 30 seconds to figure out if it's the other yellow one or this yellow one. And that's pretty much it, man. So let me put this back in, the, put this back in real quick. Fairly simple, that's it. The, how you just string that yellow wire all the way back around, plug it in, that's a wrap because the power wire and all the other stuff is already back there that you did all the work on. And just plug that in. So let's get all this back in. back in I had my stuff set up a certain way so it takes me a minute to put it back in so once you do that um get you put your car back in park and turn it off or well, not turn it off just make sure all your stuff works so I'm gonna give y'all an example of mine mine works my back of camera works crystal clear oh so, like I say with this uh, aftermarket stereo stuff right you got compass I think you can install a, a fuse for the compass and it'll work my shit don't work but uh Let's go to the settings and then this is mine's always always at the bottom 
See, I'm backed out go all the way to the bottom. Customize on a regular one, it don't say customize. So let's go to customize, go to video input two. So mine's on backup. Mine cuts on only in reverse. So you wanna get in your car, go to your settings, go all the way down. Normally mine's already on here. On your regular 4.3 without the uh, the system, without the, uh, the kit, it won't show this, right? So go to customize. Matter of fact, let me see something real quick. See if it's on. Hold on. Gotta do something real quick. Okay, just making sure daytime running light. Yeah, okay. All right, my bad, y'all. Uh, customize video. So you wanna, it's gonna be, when you put it on there, it's gonna be in not use. So it says camera selections will turn on when in reverse. Use the player button to cycle through the climate and activate video screens manually. So if you put it on aux, you can actually just, uh, Put it on aux you should be able to press the player button see i press the player button and it turns it on so you can actually watch this while driving kind of not really so let's put it in uh let's cut the car on well i'm gonna give you another example so let's go back let's go back to the video input let's put it on reverse so when you put it on backup it's going to go directly into reverse because it's connected to the car's power and stinks so you put it back in that. So you put it in the aux. It's gonna go on into the same thing, I believe. Nope, you have to press player. Press done, press player. Oh, it doesn't work that way then. So okay, when you put it in the aux and press player, it doesn't work in reverse. Put it in drive. Works in drive, which is weird. That's very strange. It never does that. So let's put the car back in park. Let's cut the car on. So you hear the car cut on. Press player, and you can just keep going. Press player to cycle through it, right? So you can watch this while, you cannot do this while driving though. I don't know why it's doing that in drive, but you cannot do this in drive. So let's put it in drive. Oh, it never does that. Okay, let's go back. It never does that. So maybe, I'm not sure, but normally you cannot, when I put it, like while I'm driving, I will go to my setting while I'm driving, literally at a stoplight, go to customize, take it off, um, I'll take it off backup and put it on aux and press that, see? But you, I guess you can do it, but as long as you have it plugged into the power outlet, you can cycle through it. So you can try to uh, try to um, mess with it a little bit, but you can press the play button again, it'll go back to your regular thing. But I have mine on backup for reverse only. So yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. That's the end of the video, man. That's the end of the video, man. If you're new to the channel, Make sure you go like, share, subscribe, but make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button, man, so my videos can post it on, videos can post it on other people's recommended videos so they can like, share, subscribe too. It's your brother, Mighty Prophet, 144K, and I'm out, man. Peace.